I don't think I can fit in here. I think I'm just too swole. I don't want to touch the insulation. I'm gonna start itching. I was trying to go to the next suite, but I guess we can't go through this way. We're gonna have to go from the outside, but we're gonna go to the next suite and I'm gonna show you what was over there before this shut down. What's going on everybody? In today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you a 39,000 square foot monster shopping center. Now you might be someone wondering, how can you make money in commercial real estate? In this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how. This is a value add property, 0% occupancy. That means no tenants are in it and there's a lot of opportunity. So let's just get started with this video and open these doors and get into it. As you guys can see, this place is boarded up. It's protected all around just to make sure that nothing dangerous happens. All right guys, let's just hope that there's nobody sleeping inside here. Oh, I gotta go to the gym to open these doors up. I think that's their max. All right guys, now come inside here and see what we got. We have three spaces, 39,000 square feet total, and every single space is divided up to what its square footage is. Now this space right here is empty. A lot of the ceiling tile is just beat up. There's not really much to show, but for you guys who are watching this video, you might be wondering how can you make money with something like this? It's empty, it's boarded up, there's no money being produced with it right now, but you gotta understand that if you buy a property to renovate it, to add tenants into it, that's gonna multiply the income and you're gonna buy it at a bargain because it was empty whenever you got it. Now guys, this space would be good for a lot of businesses. You're talking, you can have a nursing home here, a trade school, a hardware store, a gym. There's so many things that you could do with space this big. Uh-oh, there's glass that's broken over here. But that's nothing right there. Anyways, there's so much you could do with a space like this. Don't look right here, guys. You can't be looking. This is the alarm code. You can't be seeing what's over here. Now, this space has a lot of opportunity, things that you can do with this and opportunity that you can build. That's the game of real estate, by the way, for those of you that don't know. It's not getting something that's fully occupied and it looks brand new and it's beautiful. It's getting something that's put down, that's not rented out, that's not making any money, and then you revive it and bring the life to it. I don't think I can fit in here. I think I'm just too swole. I don't want to touch the insulation. I'm gonna start itching. I was trying to go to the next suite, but I guess we can't go through this way. We're gonna have to go from the outside, but we're gonna go to the next suite and I'm gonna show you what was over there before this shut down. By the way, guys, if you enjoy uh, videos like this, please don't forget to hit the like button and help me with the YouTube algorithm. It just lets people know that this is a good video and that's all, I'm just locking up and we're gonna go in the next suite. I'm gonna let you guys go in first, welcome, welcome. Now this space that we have over here was a former grocery store and what it was is basically you have groceries, you have a kitchen, you have a walk-in cooler. It's an open concept, 6,000 square feet of space. Now if you're somebody who wants to open an event center, if you're somebody who wants to come and open another grocery store, if you're probably like, hmm, I'm in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, I was thinking of opening a grocery store, we already have one here, second generation. Second generation means that it's already been here, but they just ended up moving out. So it's a lot quicker for you to get started. This space right here is 6,000 square feet and really what you see is just cosmetics, paint, flooring, ceiling, and then just making sure electrical, plumbing, and all that works. This building is good, structure is strong, just has some basic stuff to be done. So if you're looking in the market, the space might be for you. All right guys, now that's right there, value add real estate. So what you're seeing right now is just stuff that needs to get fixed up nothing too major, and then you get tenants from that. Now my job as a real estate agent is to do what? Is to see the space, to see what the best use for that space will be, and then I go locate that tenant to come inside the building. If you own a property like this and you wanna raise the value, it's not just about raising rents, but it's about looking for properties that have nothing in them, that have no tenants, that kind of have an ugly look to them, and you come in there and beautify it. This center right here is a very nice center in a great location with a lot of opportunity. Now, for those of you wondering, how can you make more money with commercial real estate? It's right in front of you. This is the game and this is how it is. Now, I gotta make sure nothing jumps on me, but come inside here. This is also a grocery store. So, oh snap, the door's closing. We're about to get locked up and then beat up. What was that? Whew. So what you guys see here is just another replica of the other two spaces, just bigger, 
entire ceilings. You got milk and eggs over there. You got a pharmacy over there. And this is the space that you have. When you see this, what can you do to make it make you more money as a real estate owner, investor, developer, or whatever it is that you may call yourself? What could you do to bring more value to your property? Whether it's a hotel, whether it's a shopping center, industrial space, a house, whatever it might be, what can you do to bring more value where someone else will pay you more money for your center? Anyways guys, there you have it, a commercial shopping center where you can make yourself a lot more money by value add, by adding more value to the property, and by giving it a touch of your knowledge and your experience. Thank you all so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, don't forget every single week I got new real estate content coming out. So this is not just the only video, there's so much more coming. So don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And most importantly, if I gave you any value, you learned anything in this video, hit the like button so I can know that. Thank you all so much and I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.